from Hitchin Farm Working Horses, and today Mike and I are going to show you how a working horse like Opal here can be a really good help if you have a bracken issue. So today we're heading over to our neighbour's farm, which is down a steep hill, up another steep hill and across a field from ours. They only have a few small patches of bracken for us to tackle today with the bracken roller and the lovely Dolly. Right, so this is bracken. This is what we've come to try and control today. Um, it's a coarse member of the fern family. It's carcinogenic, unfortunately, and can cause cancer in both humans and livestock. It's generally associated with stomach cancer and cancer of the esophagus. Um, it can also outcompete normal grassland species and it's quite an endemic problem in the UK. I should just say that bracken is safe to roll. The carcinogenic effects show up when it is consumed. Our neighbours are trying to farm using as little chemicals as possible, much like us, and so they won't be using any chemical sprays. So this is normally controlled using a chemical called azulot. I think that's how you say it anyway, um, which is quite a sort of toxic spray that will affect not only bracken but also other fern species and it's extremely dangerous to aquatic life. So in Wales and Scotland this year they've actually ruled that you cannot any longer use azulot. You still can in England, doesn't make any sense to me but you can, um, because of the risk it poses to the environment and human health. So we're going to show you an alternative way of controlling the bracken using the lovely dolly up there and a little bit of real horsepower. So this is our bracken roller. It's actually made out of a tractor crumbler for cultivating soil. We've put some extra steel bars on there because what we're looking for is it to like crimp or pinch the bracken stem and make the bracken bleed. And if the bracken does that three years in a row, what you find is it really diminishes the plant and then it allows the grass to really get up through this and then really from then on you should be able to manage this with stock like cattle and sheep. So this is just to demonstrate what the bracken roller can do. This is the first pass that we did yesterday with the bracken roller and as you can see it's gone from this to this. So cutting bracken once a year it really is ineffective. If you are going to cut it and you're adamant to you have to do it like three or four times because that's how fast this plant will regenerate and carry on growing. Whereas like we said, crimping it or bruising the stem, what you find is it, it bleeds and bleeds that year and you don't have to cut it or bash it again, just the once. Quite a lot of horse loggers are available for bracken bashing in the summer when you're no longer allowed to fell trees due to bird nesting regulations. So Azulots is quite regularly sprayed from helicopters as well as being used with hand application. Unfortunately, this means that it can drift into other areas of the environment where there is no bracken and cause other environmental problems. So this site is obviously quite steep. As you can see, it goes down into a valley there. Um, that is the tops of the trees right there. <laughs> but with the horses, we're able to access steep, inaccessible sites that you wouldn't be able to manage with a quad bike. So once you're in place, it's simply a case of going around and around your bracken patch until it has all been smashed to the ground. We've done a real range of contracts with the bracken basher, from jobs like these where there were just small patches, to one job where there was over 200 acres, nearly all bracken, on Dartmoor. Once the job was complete, it was just a case of marching back up a big hill to our own farm. <laughs> 